everyone. I'm Miss Kathy from Flamingo Gardens. How are you all doing today? Even though Flamingo Gardens is closed due to the coronavirus, we're going to be here for you every day online. Welcome to our new learning series, Explore Outdoors While Stuck Indoors, an A to Z learning series. Each day we're going to explore Flamingo Gardens and look for the different animals and plants that start with the different letters of the alphabet. Since we are on our first day, the first letter is A. Come and help us explore, see what we can find that begins with the letter A. A is for anato bush. I'm standing in front of our anato bush right here. The anato bush is also nicknamed the lipstick tree. It is used to make a lot of different food colorings. I have a little seed pod right here. I'm going to break it open and see what is inside. Can you see all of those little seeds? Now, if you crush those seeds on your finger, it will turn your finger. Can you see that? What color is that? Red. That's right, it's red. And you can put it on your cheeks for a nice rouge. Now let's go and explore an animal that begins with an A. Alligators! My name is Michael Ruggieri. I'm the director of wildlife here at Flamingo Gardens and today we're going to learn about American alligators. I have little blades right here and the big ones we have in the back are Elvis and Priscilla. Now Elvis and Priscilla, Elvis is the big one here in front. He's 28 years old. He was actually owned by somebody who had him as a pet. They moved to Florida, found it's illegal to own alligators as pets, so they turned them over to us. When we got Elvis, he was only about 18 inches long, so, and we've had Elvis about 28 years. Priscilla, the smaller one in the back, came from a, a zoo somewhere in upstate New York. Um, the zoo was closed down. Um, she was kept in a kind of a smaller environment, so it kind of stunted her growth just a little bit. And um, so, but right now she's about 35 years of age and these are a breeding pair. Now this little guy right here I have here is Glades. Now in the world today, there are two species of alligators. One of course is the American alligator and the other one's called the Chinese alligator. Now alligators are born with a full set of teeth. They have 80 teeth when they're born. Now here in Florida, we're also very lucky. We actually have crocodiles that live in our waters. And the way you can tell the difference is by simply counting their teeth. Alligators have 80 teeth and crocodiles only have 70. Try to get the count right the first time. Now another way you can also tell is by their coloration. Crocodiles will be kind of greenish in color, where alligators are kind of orange or a little bit of yellow with black on them. Another way you tell is by the shape of their head. An alligator has a much rounder head and a crocodile will have a much pointier head. Now, everything an alligator needs while he's in the water is right on top of his head. His nostrils are way up here. They do have a little flap of skin. They can seal off their nostrils so water won't get into it. Their eyes, you see, they kind of poke right up on top of their skull. Well, actually, if something was to start biting at him, he can drop his eyes down into two little bony sockets in his skull. And then when the danger is gone, the little eyes pop right back up again. Now they're hard to see his ears, but right here there's a big flap of skin right there. And that little flap of skin behind that are their ears. And when they dive into the water, they can just close that flap off so water won't get into their ears. It also helps pressurize their body whenever they dive into the deeper depth. Now they do have very short legs, but alligators are actually very fast runners for a very short distance. This is so they can fly up out of the water really quick, grab their prey, and then pull it back into the water. But when they want to really swim, they're going to tuck their legs in beside them. They're going to get as streamlined as possible. And they're going to power themselves using this big, thick tail. Now, the tail of the alligator, they will sometimes use it as a weapon. This little guy right here would give you a little bit of slap. Wouldn't really hurt too bad. Now, in closing, alligators are really one of the most important animals that we have here in the state of Florida. Did you also know it is our state reptile? and it's also considered a keystone species. Now a keystone species is an animal that hundreds of other animals depend on that animal for their survival. And you kind of think, how in the world can an alligator help other animals? Because he'll eat almost everything in the swamp. 
Well, actually, they'll protect bird rookeries. So if other predators try to swim out to the islands and eat all the baby birds in the nest, they'll actually catch the predators. So we would not have all these beautiful wading birds that we have in Florida if it wasn't for alligators. And they'll actually, big, they'll actually dig big alligator dens, and if the glades ever dries up, this will be pockets of, of water that will maintain algae and other water um, for other animals to drink. So it's really one of the most important animals that we have here in the state of Florida. So they're very worth being here and we need to try to protect them as much as we can. I hope you all enjoyed seeing our American alligators. Now we're gonna make a craft. It's going to be a puppet, an American alligator puppet. Your mom and dad can print out the template at flamingogardens.org. What you're going to need are some crayons, glue, and scissors. First, you're going to cut out the mask. You're going to cut along the lines of the teeth until it's completely cut out. Twin's going to help me right now cut out the mask. After you start cutting out the mask, it's going to look like this. Now you can color your alligator any color you like. We colored ours green. After you have your mask cut out and colored, you're going to take a baggie for the puppet. Make sure that you glue the bottom of the bag to the top of the alligator's head. Take a little bit of glue. Spread it around and stick the alligator head right on top of the bag. Then you're going to bend it up, bend up his snout, bend down his teeth. Our alligator only has 10 teeth. And then once the teeth are bent down, you have your mask. I hope you enjoyed visiting us today. We can't wait to see you tomorrow when our letter is going to be B. So start thinking about all the different things around Flamingo Gardens, the animals and trees that could start with B. Also, if you thought of any A letters and any A animals or plants that you know that we have here, please send them in and let us know. See you tomorrow, and remember to visit us at flamingogardens.org or on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram at Flamin Flamingo Gardens. See you tomorrow.